we will build a Hacker News clone. We first define our application layout. For that, we will define a header component for logo and menu and a footer component for other parts, for example, for links for about me part, etc. We first generate our header component by using Angular CLI, which is ng generate component header command. We then generate our footer component by using Angular CLI again, which is ng generate component footer. Angular CLI also generates import statements in application module TS file for us. We don't need to edit this file each time we generate the components. App module is the main application module. If you generate a components manually, you need to define your component in this module. Notice that we have created a component named header, but Angular has generated a class named header component and define a selector for this component, which is up dash header for that component. Next, we will change up components HTML file and include our header and footer components. To include header component, we need to use up header selector. And for footer component, we need to use up footer selector. After that, we will see that our two new components can be rendered correctly, but of course without styling. Since we are doing a hacker news clone, we will also need store list component and store item component to show the details of a story. You can generate them by using Angular CLI as well. I will use ng generate component story, ng generate component story item commands for this. We will again change app component HTML file to add our store list component to display a list of top hacker news items on that page. But first of all we need to define an initial structure. For that I will use a dummy array and I will display a text on the first page by using an index. Oops, we made a mistake. It doesn't work. Let's look at the console. Mm. As you can see, Angular 2 application is also showing error messages for the template errors in console. That is very helpful. Oh, I made a mistake. Instead of double curly braces, I used single curly braces. I will fix this. Okay, it's working. We are not using store item at the moment, but we will use this in another video when we learn how to define input values for components.